What's going on, guys? I'm AJ. This is Davis Drives. And as you can see behind me, we got a bunch of super trucks for you. Tim, roll the intro. I'll catch y'all later. Well, um, I was going to catch y'all later, but uh, I got to jump this. So, Tim, roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Davis Drives here in Richmond, Virginia, bringing you some of the rarest pickup trucks that you're probably going to see today. Um, and very thrilled that have them all in one place at one time. So I'm gonna run through them real quick, and then we'll go over a little bit of dedicated, you know, information. But these three, four, five, actually five, over here today, um, are all four by four. This Kodiak here. Um, it's kind of the gentle giant of this medium duty trucks. Uh, a lot of people walk past it, but in a four wheel drive form, you can see how big this truck is. And we're gonna pull a Mustang up in just a minute so you can really realize how big, but I'm just shy of six foot and give you a little idea of the size of these trucks and they progressively get bigger. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea. Tire is uh, 44, 46 inches tall across the board. So. This truck did not come with this wheel and tire set up. In four wheel drive, they look pretty dinky. This would have been a dually, dual back wheels. It's a super single now. And this truck's not a show truck. Um, it's got a little light fade to the paint. It's got some chips. It's got some marks. Um, you know, it's not the flagship of what we've got sitting out here today, but it's a cool truck, nevertheless. And being the year it is, it's basically pre emissions. There's no DPF, there's no DEF fluid required. So it's still a good old school Duramax motor, 6.6. Uh, .6. Functional four wheel drive. It has had a lift kit added. Um, that's why it sets as tall as these others, uh, because stock it would not. It's definitely a lot shorter. And uh, 
the oversized tire definitely gives it some crazy, crazy curb appeal. Um, but we've had a lot of these. This was actually our first. I was telling a guy a story yesterday because he called on the CXT and he was just asking background. And the 4500 and 5500 series Kodiaks were the first top kicking Kodiak. They called either one between Chevy and GMC. Um, was one of the first trucks we could actually afford in the super truck world. We pulled boats with it and RVs and campers and it was a medium duty so it was a lot safer than using a 350 Ford which is what we always used. Um, so it broke us in before we had freight liners and before we had anything else. So out of this lineup today, a PX4 is really the only one missing, which would be a freight liner version of these trucks. Um, we have even got a Mercedes version of these trucks, but it's up at our service shop. We didn't have time to get it here before we need to get this video knocked out. Um, moving along, CXT F650 uh, Kodiak. CXT, this truck was factory set up this way. So this is one of the few that's actually built from the factory. And if you go on our YouTube, you'll search. We've had about every color there is. Well, we have had every color there is. And uh, there weren't but about 200 of them made, and we've had about 50 of them. Uh, this is the rarest of the colors. We have done a dedicated video to this truck in the past, but can't ever hurt to get more. Every time we post one of these, people argue, hey, bud, you're wrong. That's got a Ford bed. So one thing I haven't ever touched on very much is in this era and in this year, Ford and International basically had a program together. If you did not know, your 7.3 Power Stroke pickup truck and your 6.0 Power Stroke pickup truck, those motors came from International. You look at the valve cover, they're even stamped International. So Ford provided the bid, International built the truck, and there's some other pieces and parts that overlapped. But that's just some of the information that people argue about. We're not wrong. We're not an ass either. We try to be polite, but if you do your research, you'll understand this is how this truck was built. They didn't have very many options. It's kind of like buying a Demon today. You're not going to get with so many options or, a, you know, a Hellcat. You're not going to get with so many options. It was already the cream of the crop. And the options on these trucks were a 466 motor and a 570 motor. This has the 570. Traditionally backed up by a bigger Allison Trans. I have not checked that yet, but I'm pretty sure it does. Interior option was basic leather, cloth, or cloth and leather, basically like a tweed. That's what this has. This one's a little different because it was a moxie oak build. Don't know if it was built new. Again, if somebody knows information more than we do, drop it in the comments. Give us a call. We'd love to know. But we think it was probably a SEMA build for mossy oak. The interior has mossy oak overlays. Um, the seats have been updated in the front, but I have the original mossy oak seats. It has a custom back bumper, like a sportsman type bumper where you can put your guns and stuff in it. Um, and you can see the mossy oak symbol in the bumper. So um, back to the regular options, that just makes this one more rare. The color, this desert tan, uh, which the international dealer where we bought it says was original color um, and appears to be one of one. Um, probably special ordered by them to be you know, similar to their colors. Might even have a wrap on it, we don't know. Um, the interior's got the option upgrade. It has the bigger TV in the ceiling, rear entertainment. Tilt bed, <clears throat> not all of them had a tilt bed. Most of them that you saw on the cover of Motor Trend and all these other places did have the tilt bed, but this one does. Um, it was 50-50 for a week and tell. Half of them had it, half of them didn't. Uh, then the biggest thing is air ride suspension. Very rare to find the air ride suspension. Most of them were spring. This one does have the air ride suspension. So push button inside, you can dump it. You can even put a control valve on it if you want to make it softer or easier riding or whatever. Um, and another thing we get a bunch of complaints about, not really complaints, but smart Alec comments, is the tires. So those are original. The date code matches. The other videos show you they're 05 tires. They're like brand new. So why do we leave them? Well, the truck's like brand new. It has very low miles. If you know tires, you can look at the condition and see these are 90% new. They match the mileage of the truck. That's one of the only things that validates mileage um, of a vehicle. So these are not dry rotted or cracked, but per recommended tire replacement, they should be replaced. So we will replace these with six brand new tires when this truck sells. Um, unless somebody's put in a museum, then they can keep their brand new, but 20 year old tires almost. Um, just a safety thing. We like to be upfront about it, but that truck is impeccable. We have not even detailed it. We've washed it, taken some pictures of it. 
we didn't undercoat it, we didn't put paint on it, we've done nothing but just display it the way it is. Uh, we even left the original mud flaps on the back, still got the original stack exhaust, just a really, really, really cool truck. So uh, if you're looking for something for a museum piece, a business write-off, something that is going to increase in value because of the rareness, that's the other thing people don't realize, this is rarer than a a uh, demon, it's rarer than a Bugatti, it's rarer than all these supercars and hypercars. And it's a real truck. Like you can get in this thing and go to dinner and I promise you'll get more, if you're into attention, you'll get more attention than anything else you can drive. But at the same time, you'll have something that's a real deal. Also pre-emissions diesel, does not have DPF, does not have DEF, and it has a motor that should last a million miles. So enough about that, I love my CXTs. I can harp on them for days, we can talk about them, but also factory four by four, and this one has a winch and a custom bumper up front. Moving over to the one that just rolled in, that's the F650. We rarely ever see these in four wheel drive, mainly because of how big they are. You can see the size of that truck is monstrous. This truck has full front and rear air ride suspension, Kelderman, uh, which if you're into lift kits, you know Kelderman, they're a great company, but it's front and rear Kelderman air ride, adjustable shocks, F650, also a low mileage truck, um, very low mileage truck. This truck we actually sold to a guy in New Mexico just prior or right at the start of COVID. Um, he had a big, uh, I believe it was mobile home business and um, just wasn't using it, business was good. So another customer purchased it and uh, it was too big for him, so he brought it to us, and that's how it ended up back here. Um, dual tanks. This was also not built from the factory, no different than the Kodiak with the bed and everything else. This truck was built by Super Trucks. Uh, Chris in Georgia builds great trucks. Uh, we've had dozens and dozens of his vehicles, and this one's incredible. Power steps, big tanks, all billet accessories, custom stereo, custom interior, LED lights galore. And the cool thing is this last owner was a very meticulous man, a little bit of an older gentleman, so he went over everything. The left and right blind spot signal cameras work, shows up on the dash like a big motorhome. Um, of course, also pre-emissions diesel, no DPF, no DEF again. Uh, winch in the front, bunch of extra lights, fog lights, LED lights, projection beam lights. That's a cool truck, and it does ride good. Before he brought it to us, he was from Tennessee, so not too far, but he had the tires trued, he had alignment done, he greased and serviced everything. Um, that truck tracks really good. It's also been switched to super singles, and that's something we did sell a CXT and we switched it for a customer. If you wanna make a change to the CXT, I'd hate to see it happen. We'll do anything you ask. So I don't care if you wanna wrap, you wanna take the bed off, you wanna super single it, we can do it. Um, and then last but not least, the six door, which I think we've caught in another video, but this is a platinum, also not built from the factory this way, but also we're talking about rare trucks today, so we might as well toss it in. F-350, that was cut section, had the cab added. It's a clean title truck. A lot of these come with salvage titles because they're built from scrap vehicles and multiple piece vehicles. This is a clean title truck, um, 26s, 37s. It does have spinning floating caps. Everybody likes those these days. It's got a painted and powder coated lift kit, uh, with the big control arms, got a nice set of uh, like flight flat, flight fab um, traction bars. I'm not sure that's the exact brand, but they're similar to those. Um, power steps that we just added. We've gone over this truck from head to toe, servicing it, and we've been driving it because it's one of the few vehicles that if we go to an event, we can carry the whole family. Um, this one's configured, I think, to seat three, six, seven, eight. It's either eight or nine, depending on the front seat configuration. Um, and it's all platinum, so it does have the uh, power steps, of course. It's got the console, so it seats eight people um, pretty well. And uh, you don't see those every day. They're also built in two or three different places across the country. I think this one was built out. Uh, Midwest, if I remember correctly, we bought it from the builder, um, and he also had a car dealership, and um, I, we've gone over it, critiqued it, made it our own, you know, done the things we know it needed, and it's pretty spot on. Truck tracks down the road good, rides good. Uh, it had factory rear springs. We upgraded the rear springs. Um, we've got it set up to if somebody wants to have a set of airbags, it can run a set of airbags. If you're going to tow, 
and uh, it's got the right stance. It had a little squat to it. We took care of that. Uh, no Carolina squat around here. And it's a 6.7 diesel. And per what the told us, the motor had been replaced. And my mechanic says it does look much cleaner and newer. So uh, no paperwork on that, but uh, the block's very clean. Uh, we all know the 6.7s have their problems. So it does appear that's had a new motor. So. All these trucks are for sale. They're all on the website, davis4x4.com and davisautosales.com. Hope this content's uh, enjoyable for you guys. We try to mix it up and bring you some cool stuff, but you know we do have close to 400 vehicles, always circulating and changing. Uh, everything from classics, exotics, these trucks, hauler trucks, and a big part of our business is commercial wreckers and rollbacks. Um, but we try to bring you the exciting stuff. These six doors usually really kill it you know, as far as views, questions, comments, the CXT is the same way, but we did have an F650 that was an excursion version of this truck. That's one of our most, maybe not viral videos, but it's getting ready to hit a million views, which will be a record for us uh, in our short time of, of YouTube. So, uh, and I'm gonna bring you guys one more thing. I'm gonna have AJ slide up in here with a car so you can understand the size of this, but we've been panning around this whole time and uh, What's behind us is probably one of the coolest things we put together in a long time, the 10 door Suburban. So if you uh, on any of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, I think it's even made its way to Twitter, but it's definitely been on TikTok. And uh, most of our handles on those are Davis 4x4 or above average trucks. But uh, that thing has gone nuts. We have hit over a million, I think it's a million three right now uh, on one of the posts. All the posts have gone crazy. Um, a lot of comments about that it's a rendering, a lot of comments about why is it a 10 door. Uh, so anyway, eight doors down the side, two in the back. Uh, we're getting ready to do a contest and see if people can figure out where all the extra doors are because it does have a gas door. It's got a uh, blend door, it's got ashtray doors. It's got a lot of doors. So we might do a contest and figure out who can guess exactly but it has 10 physical doors. That's why we call it the 10 door. We also call it that because we don't want to confuse it with our eight door mega truck, which if you follow us, you've seen, we don't have that here today because it doesn't move. It's currently in the shop. Uh, but this truck's riding on 40 inch boggers, custom Valco wheels that you can get at Davis Off-Road. Uh, they build those to order. These are 15 by eight, no 15 by 16 custom offset, basically as deep as an 18 inch wheel but Daniel orders them with a really deep offset. So 15 by 16, I keep screwing that up. Uh, this particular set has a set of bead locks, uh, basically considered a three piece because it's got the bolt in center. Um, 40 inch boggers, 12 inches of lift, custom rear springs. Also did a custom uh, sway bar in the back. He just wanted to kind of show off. So him and Brian came up with this uh, sway bar for the rear, which is really cool because of the fact that kind of needs it being so long. Um, we just had the custom exhaust done. We just did the drive shafts. We just did the brake lines. We tried to get this done for the holidays. Uh, and my birthday's right at that time. So um, I wanted to drive it around and, and we have. It's been driven uh, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Here comes AJ up in here just so you can get an idea of size of these trucks. As you can see, they're big. They're very big. The bumpers on these trucks are basically at the height of the roof of this Mustang, so you can see the uh, size comparison. That's another reason that they are so popular for people because everybody loves a big, huge truck. Probably why the 10 door has been so popular, but I think the 10 door is just cool because of the fact it's, it's raw, it's kind of ugly in a way. It was hideous when it was stock. Watch our other videos, you can see what it looked like. I mean, it was grandpa ugly. Had a scene down the side of uh, some bikers and Harley Davidson theme. Um, but just like the eight door we're building, we like it because it has functional doors. It has functional seating. This unit's got seating for 15 people. Um, we haven't really dropped a video of the interior yet because I want to finish a few things before we do that. So for those that are watching, it's coming. Uh, all the seats are in there, but we wanna put some dome lights in. I wanna finish some interior stuff before we really blow that away. Um, and people ask about driving it and turning radius. I've been driving this to restaurants. I've been driving it across town. 
I've been driving it to run errands. I've been driving it like a regular daily, and uh, Daniel has as well. I don't think Brian's driven it yet, but uh, we've had the kids in it. Uh, haven't had my mom in it yet, but that's soon to come. We've had a couple buddies in there, and four-wheel drive works. Hubs work. Matter of fact, we locked the hubs and forgot we drove it down the highway in 4x4 just to tell you how perfect the drive line is. We didn't even feel a vibration. So at 70 miles an hour, there's a video of us driving it with one finger. That's very true. That's not doctored. Uh, the crossover steering, the crossover track bar crushes it on this thing. Um, the brakes are great. Full wheel disc, one ton of axles. It's just, it's just an impressive truck. So to say the least, been a very, very good build. It's gotten a whole lot of popularity. And uh, we love the comments because they've been, they've been really positive for the most part. Most of the time you get a bunch of hecklers and a bunch of hate and pretty much everybody's been positive other than they say it's gonna take a football field to turn it. It doesn't. Um, everybody loves the build. It's old school. We're gonna leave it this way. We're not gonna do a crazy paint job. It's got the old 1980s pinstripes. It is an 80. A lot of people ask the year. This is a strange year because 79 and 80 were a switchover year of the front end as far as the, um, the grill and the headlights between round and square. So it's pretty cool. It's a round headlight 1980. Um, upgraded lights, big block motor, probably going to do some power steps on it. Uh, there's some future things to come, traction bars and other stuff. But at this time, uh, what you see is what we got. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to drop your comments good, bad, in between. We love to see them. Uh, we'll keep trying to bring you some unusual content. Still got the reef on the front of this thing, so uh, you can see it was a holiday ride. We'll keep watching at Davis Drives. AJ's going to bring you a couple more clips of this stuff running down the road. Uh, show you, show you what this stuff really does, but there's the 10-door Suburban in real life. I drove it into work. We just had a photographer come and photograph and do a bunch of stuff for his uh, Instagram page. If you're out there, if you're local or not local and you're a photographer and you want to catch some cool content, check us out. Um, now that the showrooms are done, that's why we're over here. There's still construction across the road, noise. But uh, once they're done, we're going to have some pretty incredible inventory and some stuff that's uh, going to blow some people's minds. So Davis Drives on YouTube, Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia. Come check us out anytime. Thanks for watching.